There are so many delicious foods available, but do you know how to create a healthy meal? With the help of these traffic lights, you can start by dividing your food into three groups, green, amber and red. Green foods have lots of nutrients and very little fats and sugars and only tiny amounts of additives and preservatives. Amber foods contain larger amounts of sugar, salt, additives and preservatives. They have less nutritional value than green foods and will lead to weight gain. Red foods are the least healthy group. They have no nutritional value and contain very large amounts of sugar, salt, additives, preservatives and chemicals. So how do these traffic lights help you create a healthy meal? On all the packaged foods that you buy, there is a nutrition information panel. Here you will find a list of the amount of energy, fat, saturated fat, sugar and salt in 100 grams of wheat bix Energy, fat, saturated fat, sugar and salt each have their own traffic light, which tells you if the quantity of those ingredients make your food green, amber or red. Let's look at the amount of salt in wheat bix 290 milligrams of salt. Now let's look at the traffic light for salt. 290 milligrams is less than 300 milligrams, so that's a green light. How about sugar? 3.3 grams of sugar, also a green light. The fat? 1.4 grams of fat, another green light. Now for saturated fats. 0.3 grams of saturated fat, once again, a green light. Energy, 1,490 kilojoules, a red light. You now have the traffic lights of sugar, salt, fats, saturated fats and energy. You can see more green lights than other colours, so Wheat Bix is a green food. When you discover a red or amber food, always look for a healthier alternative. Some well-known breakfast cereals are a red food, compared to rolled oats, a green food. So ditch the sugary stuff and have a bowl of porridge instead.